So let's jump into this conversation about SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. It is a psychiatric medication that is supposed to increase serotonin in the brain. And if you've heard me talk or you have read anything about serotonin, it's actually almost exclusively created in the gut, 95% of it. So when we think about SSRIs, and we're going to talk about the dangers because you need to know, yeah, there's an FDA black box warning on it for anybody under age 25. That's pretty serious, right? Most of us don't think twice about taking it because somebody you trust, your kid's pediatrician, a psychiatrist, APRN, some professional in the medical field has prescribed it to you. And you probably got here because it's not working. You want to avoid it, or you're really doing some Google MDing and you're figuring out, holy cow, these SSRIs come with a whole host of problems. Absolutely, they do. And 100% of psychiatric medication comes with a toxic effect. And most people tell me they went down this road because they didn't know another way, they were scared, or they believed this was the only way, right? And we're now realizing it's not the only way. There are many natural solutions that change the brain. And when we think about serotonin, right, it is created in the gut. And so there are many things we can do to change how our microbiome works so that we can get serotonin back in our brain naturally. That's often really shocking to people. I can't even tell you how many times I worked with somebody. This week I had a family come out from a Southern state and they were talking about how dramatic the probiotic I had this little guy on and what a difference in his alertness and mood and communication. And this was a child that was on the autism spectrum just with one thing. And that was because he had poor gut health and he wasn't getting serotonin into his brain. And serotonin, as we talked about, is important for mood, but it's also important for attention. There's a lot of things that it, it, that it is. So let's dive into some of these things about, you know, what happens, right? So we've already talked about it. The FDA has a black box warning for anybody under age 25. They say that SSRIs are in general safe for anxiety and depression. But let's talk about some of the research, right? We've always got to talk about the research. So important. That's, I know you love that about me. Um, I'm pretty serious. 40 pages of citations in that book. So in the UK, since 2003, uh, an organization called MHRA, which is the UK Medicine and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, says, guess what? The uh, risks outweigh the benefits of for anybody under age 18, you know, and so it has too many risks associated with it. We're going to talk about some of those risks. Um, I always feel that Europe is light years ahead of us in how they treat things more holistically. Um, they're much more conservative even though mental health absolutely across the globe has declined during the pandemic, I do feel that they are much more likely to do um, holistic things, including essential oils. That's on a later episode. They're uh, huge into reflexology in the UK, and you're just much more likely to be pushed towards other types of therapies before you're going to get a psychiatric medication. I had somebody come out this week from the UK and they actually said to me, do you know how hard it is to get an antibiotic in the UK? And I was like, good, right? Because we don't want to destroy that microbiome if you don't need it. So let's talk about some of this research. So a 2007 study found that 60% of adolescents who use SSRIs experience side effects. Okay. And, and, you know, we know some of these side effects, but let's talk about the more severe ones. And then we're going to, we're going to go through all the possibilities. So in a Mayo Clinic study, what they found that anxiety, agitation, suicidal thoughts, and way more 
um, issues related to mental health were likely to happen, right? These are possibilities, right? We're not even talking about the weight gain that my kids go on, especially when they're teenagers. It can be really, really difficult. I've had people gain as much as 100 pounds. Um, and, and, you know, we're talking about anxiety and depression, right? So there's total levels. You're, you're hearing me talk about internalizers and, and externalizers. And when they are internalizers, you can't always see what's going on. When they're externalizer, we know something's going on. We may not really understand that it is anxiety and depression. You may see, you know, anger and um, swearing and hole punching, and there may be a lot going on. But wherever they are, these are serious mental health conditions. You know, I'm getting more vocal about, you know, don't wait, take action. And I'm educating you on the different things you can do because we often think this is the only thing you can do. And I'm here to tell you it's not. And also what happens on SSRIs is that it actually starts breaking down the microbiome, which is where serotonin is almost exclusively created. So you wind up getting in a cycle. Um, people will say to me, can I just take a probiotic? You can give it a try, but you're constantly working against something and your diagnosis may or may not be accurate, right? That's what you're experiencing. There are many, many options for treating mental health. And that's what we're here to talk about. So let's talk about some of the other SSRI side effects. I got a couple slides on this, people. So many people, even though they're taking it for mood, can experience increased depression, um, it actually can really swing you into uh, a much worse depression, as we talked about suicidology, um, you know, suicidal thoughts and different components of it. Um, it can be quite hard. It can it can trigger bipolar. Um, it can cause hyperactivity. It could cause fatigue, restlessness, increased depression. Lots of gut issues often happen, as we're now understanding, because it breaks down. Uh, your good bacteria, your healthy bacteria, which is actually helping you, right? Um, sleep issues are common. It could be that you're having a hard time going to sleep, but I have found that what it does is it causes a lot of fatigue and people have a hard time waking up. And for my teenagers, when they have a hard time waking up, it's just another piece of friction between mom and dad, which is very difficult. We, you know, it, it's super, super hard. So Often what you get is a leveling. So your, your internalizer and externalizer, right? So um, whether it's agitated up behaviors, overactive behaviors, or flat behaviors, what SRIs do, SSRIs, is it, it gives you a level, right? Like it levels you out. Um, and you don't get as many highs and you don't get as many lows. Um, and there's a flatness that occurs. A lot of kids will tell me after a while, they might feel relief. Um, but then after a while, they lose themselves. Um, and I think that's a very relatable thing that people can can talk about and experience, right? And obviously, when safety is a concern, you always have to follow your person. You can't just come off as an SSRI. Very dangerous to come off an SSRI. You can trigger some pretty terrible side effects. Um, so you would never want to discontinue. You would only work with a medical provider to you know, figure out another alternative and option. This is just about educating you for op options. So it also can really cause a lot of other kinds of agitation, irritability, and hyperactivity. So what you think it's going to do, right, is level out and, and cause you to be less reactive. It actually can cause more reactivity. I've seen this time and time again. There's quite a few SSRIs that are contraindicative with family history of bipolar and OCD. Um, and then, you know, kids get thrown on them and then you can get a real huge uh, worsening. Um, and things can be there that were never there. Um, and, you know, obviously what we want to do is that if you are having, you do have your child on SSRI, this is not to shame you or make you feel bad or any of that. This is to educate you, right? Knowledge is power. Um, has to be highly monitored. You need to be with a professional that's really meeting with you regularly, checking in, um, really doing behavioral checks. But this is also an opportunity 
to say, what else can I do? Especially when you're, you go from crisis to crisis. So unfortunately, a lot of people don't come to me until there is a crisis. We, we have this belief that mental health is not as important. Maybe we think it's more um, observable. Uh, it's just not a priority for people. I see it all the time. I, and and it's kind of shocking to me how much people think, well, if the grades are okay, or they still have friends, or they're not telling me they're depressed. They're not telling me I'm suicidal. They're not telling me I have intrusive thoughts. That Those things happen every day and parents regret it. Um, and you have to prioritize mental health. So don't use those external things. And obviously also kids, unless you're constantly doing lots of mental health communication, looking for subtle observable signs. Like, again, they're not going to be like, hey, mom, I'm really having some suicidal thoughts today. And I just thought I'd let you know. Um, these are scary thoughts. They don't want to you know, reveal them. They're afraid. They're embarrassed. They're dark. There's so many components to it. So it is often a shock when these things happen. And, you know, uh, mental health is does not discriminate. Uh, against, you know, your income level, your gender, your religious, it applies it equally. Um, and it can happen due to chronic stress. It does not have to be genetics. And in fact, you, you know, you hear me talk about all the time. It's often because of chronic stress. So SSRIs are here, right? They have 60% of adolescents are going to experience a side effect, according to research, a significant side effect. They all have one or more toxic side effects, anything from weight gain to irritability to flattening um, to fatigue. There's some, some level, but, you know, in the UK, they now say that the risks outweigh any potential benefits, and they don't recommend it. And in the U.S., we do have a black box warning on it, meaning that parents need to really seriously consider this due to some of the more severe things. Uh, nobody ever wants to think their child is suicidal. They think the signs are observable. I'm here to tell you they're not. And if you sadly know anybody who's lost a child to that, they will tell you most of the time they are surprised, um, with the exception of probably people that have a very clear history of bipolar. Um, 60% of individuals will, of bipolar will have one or more suicide attempts. So it just, there's an impulsivity component to it. So options, right? So you, you, you have dietary. You can really go for a calm brain advantage and, you know, have a Mediterranean diet, anti-inflammatory diet, anything that is nutrient dense with fats and proteins and clean is going to really help their brain tremendously. You know, I'm a huge fan of magnesium. Our multi-mag brain formula is going to be out probably very soon when this podcast airs. Uh, we need it. And if your kid is this anxious or this depressed and you have to go on SSRIs, you'd be shocked at how much even that one thing can help them. Uh, there's a lot of other supplements, you know, also mindfulness-based activities, um, you know, uh, including breath work, you know, yoga, meditation, just simple exercise is shown to be dramatic, dramatic. So don't feel stuck. Do one thing, do it for 30 days, create change. And this is a great conversation with your prescribing physician. If your child is on SSRIs, go in there and ask, what other holistic things can I do to support my child's mental wellness? And if they say nothing, or <laughs> that's a load of baloney, go find a functional practitioner. They're all over the world. So I hope this gave you hope. I hope this scared you. Um, if you're considering an SSRI or you're on an SSRI, but I want you to feel hopeful there are alternatives. Don't feel stuck.